Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have a quick app review for Interstellar Force for the iPhone and iPod Touch. So I'm going to pop it open here. And as you can see, it's got a very nice startup screen here. It's got Open Faint enabled, actually themed Open Faint, which is kind of cool. It's got Start Game, Instructions, Open Faint, Options, Credits, and More Games. Uh, I did run into one little bug, which I'll show you in a second. Very nice scrolling up at the top here. Click Start Game. Has nice sound effects, which I might turn down just a bit. Uh, so, as you can see, I've got level one and level two. Now, here's the bug I ran into. I was filming this a minute ago, and when I clicked the menu button, for some reason, after going to the last level, uh, it uh, I had to exit the app because it glitched, and I all these levels are access denied, access denied. And I had all of these open up to level, I believe, I believe it was the last level, level 7 here. Yeah, I had this open, I was going to show you it, but uh, for some reason it locked up all the levels again. I'm not really sure, maybe I clicked something, I don't know. But I was going to show you them, but now they are locked. So I will show you level 1 here. Not that big of a deal considering this is my favorite shoot 'em up on the uh, iPod Touch. I don't know why, but it is my favorite. Uh, so not that big of a deal that I have to replay them. The developer is very active and is always improving, um, asking for your suggestions and stuff like that. So uh, very nice with regards to that. As you can see, the frame rate's pretty good. Uh, very nice uh, effects with the blowing up of ships. And there are also very nice uh, power-ups as well. Like I'm going to get this here. Boom. There's also some sort of a, like a laser beam and these bombs here that blow everything up and shields down there at the bottom. There's also a tilt option if you don't want to use the uh, on-screen uh, method. Uh, but there we go. It also tells you when you get a shield or lose shield, which is down here. Uh, it tells you and like I'll lose one. And it says shields at 75%, which is nice so you can focus on actually playing and not looking at your shields. Then down here, you can uh, click resume game, main menu. Uh, I'll go back to the main menu here and show you level two real quick. So let's start that one up. As you can see, very nice backgrounds. All the different levels have different backgrounds. There's only, besides that bug, there's only one main real downfall to this and that's that there's not that many levels. Uh, but the developer did say that uh, he is working on adding level eight as well as more levels and an endless mode. Oh, which is really nice. Uh, endless mode is going to be a lot of fun, I think. Uh, so, I uh, definitely look forward to seeing that. And hopefully you can get that bug worked out with the uh, making me restart. But it's not that big of a deal, like I said, since it's so much fun. Different enemies in every level, pretty much. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's, it's hard to play on camera, but uh, it's a lot of fun. So, I was going to show you the harder levels, but I uh, can't do that right now. But uh, that is Interstellar Force for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Very nice app. Go check it out. I highly recommend this game. I'll have a link down in the description if you want to go check it out. And that's about it. See you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Peace.